live. This is so exciting. How is everybody here in Burbank, California? Woo! I'm your host, Jackie Fern. You can follow me at Jackie Fern, and we are so excited for the second annual Black Angus Steakhouse Gorilla. And we are so happy for all the Black Anguses across the country, including Hawaii, aloha, for live streaming this right now. We are so excited that you guys are joining us and that you are about to see two chefs cook our delicious Black Angus steaks to perfection, judged by some very tough foodies ourselves. Right, Deb? And this is my cowgirl in crime, partner in crime, Miss <laughs> Deb. Hi. I'm here from Black Angus, but she's the real star. I just know about the meat. <laughs> yes, girl. Tell us about those meats that you have there right now. Well, we just launched our nationwide shipping of our Black Angus fresh 21-day aged meat, premium meats, better than grocery prices, y'all. You can get them. If you are close to our stores, you can have them come directly to you from the store, hand cut that day, or we can ship to you anywhere nationwide. So that's the great thing about what you're watching right now is that you can have the Black Angus restaurant experience at home. All you need to do is go to blackangusmarket.com and come with me, Joe. Come with me and look at all this stuff that you can order yourself. I mean, have you ever seen steaks look this good, Miss Deb? I know. I feel like I need to give them a shade, though, because, you know, the California sun. I know. But, you know, the ones that are going to be coming out on the grill are going to be straight fresh from our chefs. So here's the great thing about watching as well. We are giving away some fantastic prizes for you watching at home and for also the crowd here in Burbank, California as Woo! well. There are many prizes to be had. So, Ms. Deb, would you go over those prizes for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. We have what we call our square cow cooler. Now, if you are no Black Angus, you will know that one of our signature drinks is the square cow cooler, uh, which you can get for $5 on Friday nights on our live music nights. Um, and so in this cooler, you'll see right here, there is a little hibachi grill. And it opens up to be a beautiful cooler. Woo! And you can have that at home. We also have a grill kit, which has our grilling tongs and tells you to live your West life, which is what we tell everybody, because it's not a best life until it's your West life. That's true. And I can say as a novice chef, someone who burns boiling water, that I've used one of these and they make cooking. Mwah, chef's kiss a breeze <laughs> so the way you can win these is that we are going to be asking you trivia questions here in the crowd and also on the live stream and if you answer those correctly we have a social media team scouring all our feeds to get the best answer from you guys and please use this hashtag especially if you're at home and you're watching in the bar right now having a drink having a little happy hour use the hashtag ba steak and if you're here, please take a picture of yourselves and post it with that hashtag so we can find you when it's time to give away a local prize. Okay, Burbank, California, are you guys ready to meet the contestants today? Yeah. Woo! You at home, are you ready to meet our contestants? Yes, you are. I see all those hearts lighting up in the feeds. So let's get started with our first contestant. He is the Black Angus chef extraordinaire. Let's get him out here, Chef Fernando. Garcia. <laughs> chef Fernando Garcia in the house. This man has been training Black Angus chefs for 25 years. So if you have been going to Black Angus your whole life, this man is why the steaks are so good. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you won the first one, Chef Fernando. How are you feeling today at our feel, second grill off? I feel confident. I think I can do it again. You know, this really? is my town. This is the store that I started with cooking as a chef. So it'll be great. So it's been a few weeks since the first cook off. How have you been training, preparing, intensifying for this competition? More mentally than anything. More <laughs> mental? Okay, okay, Chef Fernando. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let's get you to your station. All right. We're also going to introduce his bartender, right, yeah. Miss Deb? Yep. That's right. Okay, let's get your um, Chef Fernando's bartender out here, Miss Andrea. Andrea. Where is she? Oh, she's over there, there already. Hi. So with each dish comes a signature drink. So Miss Chef Andrea, I mean, 
uh, mixologist, Andrea, tell me what you're going to be making today. We are making the spicy jalapeno margarita. It's going to pair perfectly with what Chef Fernando is preparing. Okay, very nice. And our next contestant, let's get a drum roll for him, please, Billy. Let's get a little bit of drum roll. Okay, I'll just do it for myself. There we go. <laughs> Chef Jerome White. <laughs> Hi, Chef Jerome. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Okay, so I'm calling you Chef, but woo. That's what you should call me. That's what you're supposed to call me. I know, but okay. a lot of folks at home might know you from A Tribe Called Quest. Oh, yeah. That's right. Little, Let's little, give it up for that. So little. tell me, how are you feeling today? I'm uh, feeling great. Glad to be out here in the sunshine. California is beautiful. Got you. And what you guys might not know, and I don't know if uh, Chef Fernando knows this, but he's got some steep competition in you. You have nine restaurants and you use the money that he got from his first musical advance from a tribe called Quest to go to culinary school. So, Chef Fernando, this is some steep competition here. He don't look scared, though. You don't see it? You don't see those beads I of sweat? I don't see the, I don't, I don't see the in his eyes. He's got the championship belt, Chef Jarobi, and I think you're gonna get it from him today. Uh, uh, the belt's gonna have to take a, uh, a ride with the visitors. Oh. All right, <laughs> All right, thank you, Chef. And we're going to introduce your bartender here, Miss Michelle. She's also local to Burbank. So if you are liking our bartenders here, come on, visit us. You can go to Ikea after and just get a drink before, right? <laughs> so tell me, what are you going to make today? Uh, I'm making Old Fashioned with Jameson. It has orange and cherries and bitters in it. All right, all right. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds great. And um, one more thing I'd love to chat about. Again, are our Black Angus meats. So Miss Deb, would you take that away for us, please? Absolutely. Today, our chefs have a choice of our beautiful bone-in ribeye, 18 ounce, or our 12 or 16 ounce ribeye, our certified <laughs> Angus beef, which you can get here at Black Angus and deliver to your home. We also have our filet, a 6 or an 8 ounce, or a New York strip, 12 or 14 ounce, and a top sirloin. They have a choice of any of these meats. They can choose from the seafood options as well if they want to do a little bit of surf and turf, but the priority is that there has to be a steak on the plate. Yes, that is the priority, guys. The steak is the star here, the diva, the number one on the call sheet. I'm excited to see this, and whoever wins is going to get this. Can you see that? That is what is on the line here, people. This is serious. Me. Chef Jarobi. Serious. Okay, Chef Fernando. Are you right, guys ready? Like okay, let's go to your stations. Can we talk about the parameters of the competition? Yes. All yes. right, so each chef has to create three plates of each dish. The dish can be with or without a side dish items, but all must be complete within 30 minutes using just the grill as a cooking element. So um, we did give some cast iron pans in case needed, but I think our chefs are very grill savvy here. Um, Seafood, like I said, lobster or shrimp can be included, but steak must be the hero. A bartender partner has been paired with each of these lovely gentlemen to do the drink that is supposed to enhance the steak's flavor when it goes up to our judges. Ooh, this is so exciting. Billy, can we get a little bit of countdown, a little drum roll while we do the countdown, everybody? Let's start it off at 10, 9, 8, Bring those 7, cowbells. 6, bring your cowbells, 4, 3, Two, one, get cooking chefs, you have 30 minutes. 30 minutes to make this signature dish with steak as the main star. Woo! All right, I see. What meat are you going for, Chef Jarobi? I'm taking these juicy ribeyes. Juicy ribeyes? How do you plan to cook these? Well. Well, oh, I hope he doesn't mean like well, like burned to a crisp. I, you mean good, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the judges will like a well steak. If you're watching at home right now, put oh, in the comments, who likes a well-done steak? If you do, you're a special kind of person. Right. Let's see. What you got going on over there, Miss Deb? Well, I think it's time to introduce our judges. Yes, I'm very excited for you guys to meet. Woo! I'm very excited for you guys to meet our three judges today. These folks are insta-famous, extraordinary, and they know a lot about 
food. Let's you guys have, oh, yes, that's right. Say hi to everybody at home. Hi, everyone. My name is Eddie Sanchez uh, from Hungry in LA, and this is, uh, this is our second, uh, I think the second time back, so thank you for having me back. I'm still uh, drooling over uh, Chef uh, Fernando's, uh, it was a jalapeno, a uh, smoked jalapeno like relish uh, salsa that he had put on the on the steak. It was it was phenomenal. It was really good. It was a close competition last time. I'm excited to see uh, what we get from today. Okay, awesome. So this is your second time back. So tell me, what are you looking for differently, and what advice do you give to your fellow judges? Well, uh, my well, my advice: just enjoy yourself. The cocktails are always paired well. The steaks are, are going to be awesome, and you guys know what to do. Come on, LA foodie right here. They know. So to their right, we have the team behind LA Foodie. We got Lisa and Ben Waters. You typically don't see these beautiful faces because their page is completely food. So you're in for a rare treat if you're watching right now. Hey, Ben. Hey, Lisa. Hi. How's it going, everybody? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, you didn't like yeah. So tell me, what are you guys looking for right now and expecting from these two chef extraordinaires? Uh, well, you know, uh, we've judged some competitions in the past of chili. I also did the Santa Maria barbecue competition, wow. which is very similar, you know, beef, uh, almost just like a steak competition. But uh, so you got to get the got to get the char just right, and you don't want to overcook the meat, right? You want to take your time with it, but not too much time. I don't know. What do you look for? Um, I like it pink inside. I like some good pink and um, seasoned, of course, just perfectly. And I'm looking forward to the cocktail. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for all of that. Chef De I mean, Miss Deb, what's going on over there? All right. Well, I have noticed that both chefs have already got some veg on the grill. Uh -huh. So there's definitely going to be some side dishes going on here for sure. Um, I have, I've seen that Chef Fernando has pre-seasoned his steaks. And I'm looking right now that Chef Jarobi is in the process of getting the seasoning on his steaks as well. So things are just starting to get... A little bit hot. <laughs> All right, here we are at Chef Fernando's corner. So, Chef, tell me, when you have these ribeyes here or these steaks, what kind of seasoning do you like to put on your steaks? I use kosher pepper, black pepper, and also some dryly granulated. It's a mix of it. It's a black angle seasoning, and that's what we season our steaks. All the steaks that you eat of black angles, we season it that way. Wow, did you see, did you hear that? Wow. And it's all just to, to your eyesight, huh? Uh, yes, we do. We know you have to go plenty of seasoning because remember, some of that seasoning is going to fall out on the grill. Gotcha. So you got to be nice and covered with it. Thank you, yep. Chef. So if you're an over-seasoner of your food, I think that's a good thing when it comes to steaks. Right, Miss Deb? Yep. And I think it might be time for us to do our first giveaway. Yes! Who in the crowd here is ready for a giveaway? So I think our first one's going to be for the at-home viewer. Okay. So our question here for the at-home viewer, so for all the folks walk watching right now on the live streams, this is your opportunity to win one of our amazing giveaways that you see behind me, which is, this is the question, okay? Are you ready? What is the most popular steak at Black Angus Steakhouse? Yes, that is the, that's technically our question. Down on his bucket. But we want to know, what do you think at home is the most popular steak at Black Angus Steakhouse. This is a tough one. It is a tough this one a because tough all one, of our Deb. steaks are really yeah, thank good. thank you. Right? But there's definitely yes, one please. steak that wins out overall. So let's really? give them a minute to like, put in their answers. Make sure you're putting your answers in the chat, and then we will let you know when we have one. Who We probably want to see who the first person was to get that. And don't forget to use the hashtag BASteak. We want to see all of like everything you guys are commenting right now, so hashtag be a steak. Again, the question is, what is the most popular steak at Black Angus Steakhouse? And let's give you a little glimpse of what you can win again. So here's our square count cooler. And just remember the steaks that we do have, although we do, we are missing our ribeye because it looks like Chef Jarobi has chosen the ribeye. We have the ribeye. Yeah, he took those. Yeah, he took them the straight from the tray. And we also you want them back? <laughs> no, we don't need them back. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Jarobi is modeling the ribeye. Um, we also have New York, we have our top sirloin, and we have our fillets. They're all very popular. Do we have wow. somebody who's the first person who put in at home? Before we 
I get the right answer, I think, what would you guess, what would you guess it is, Deb? Uh, I, I, she knows. I know. It's hard. I, I, I know all of them. I don't know. Why don't we ask somebody in the audience who they think yes, that is? Yes, yes. Let's see. Over no. here. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Are you having a good time? Yeah. What steak do you think is the most popular, filet mignon or um, ribeye? Filet mignon, me too. <laughs> Guess. He's, he's like, please stop talking to me. I just came out here for the cheesy bread. <laughs> That's awesome. Do we have someone? All right, we do. Who is our winner? Who is our winner? I'm so excited to see that. Let's Lindy Monge on Facebook. She got the right Woo! answer, which is ribeye. Ribeye is rib the most popular steak out by Kangas. Okay, but we do have a bonus question for you. At home, if you can put in which is you think is the most popular, the 12-ounce the twelve ounce ribeye or the 16-ounce ribeye. We have a $25 gift certificate for anybody who, an the first person who answers correctly. So we'll figure that one out in a minute. But meanwhile, let's go check in with our mm. chef. Yes, let's see how Chef Jarobi is doing. Hi. Chef Jarobi, how's, what's, what's uh, happening right now? Show, tell me. Um, right now I'm grilling off some sweet potatoes. Um, just uh, oiling up my vegetables. Getting the timing in my mind straight, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. We have 22 <laughs> minutes left, Chef. 22 <laughs> minutes until it is time for our judges to eat. Yeah, and Chef Drew, you've told us often that cooking is just like conducting music, because our music is the base, of, one of the bases of your career. And, and does timing also come into play with that? Absolutely, timing. Um, the same thing of instant gratification, like when you. Uh, have a good record and somebody hears it and like oh immediately and you make a good dish or something somebody tastes it like oh immediately same thing <laughs> same kind of feeling you know what i mean Ooh, well he is grooving over there and i wonder how did we do we have a winner for our second do question do we have a winner for our second question we do again the question is what size ribeye steak is the most popular 12 or 16 ounces you can drink on if you want. Chastity, go ahead and say them. No, she doesn't want to be on. Go ahead and tell me, tell me, tell me. You got family, everybody. This is Woo family from our social media team. She's going to tell yes. us what the winners are. All right, the bonus question winners. One from Instagram is Shannon at Love My Dachshund. And what did she get? She got the 16 ounce. Okay, so the 16 ounce is one of our most popular. However, I have to say, it was a trick question. We're actually going to be giving the answer up because. The 16 ounce is the most popular retail item that we sell raw. The most popular item in-house, in our steakhouse when you come in, is actually the 12 ounce. So who's our 12 ounce winner? Which is going to Sherry McGlynn from Facebook. Oh, so both of you guys get a $25 gift card because you know when you're ordering a steak here, you have all the sides, you have your fried zucchini beforehand, you're quite full, you only want the 12 ounce. But we found that when people are buying the raw steaks for home, it is 16 ounce all the way because they just want to have just a plate of steak. <laughs> so how are we going right now? Congratulations to our winners. We, well, we are so Woo! happy. Well, I don't know what just happened there, but I am back here with Chef Fernando. Tell me your, uh, what you're plating here, Chef, for us. I'm making a morning ribeye. It's already ribeye. cooking. Uh -huh. And I got some grilled corn. Mm. So it's gonna be styled like a Mexican street corn with the cotija cheese and the spice and the lemon, the mayo and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a good combination, okay. right? Uh, it's all about grilling. So at home, you go to the backyard, you grill some corn, you cook some steaks, have you know a lot of fun with the family. So here you are. I love that, Chef. Okay, we have 19 minutes left on the clock on our timer. As soon as you started grilling, Chef Fernando, I saw that you put those steaks in. So. For our folks watching at home who want to get one of these meats delivered right to them at blackangusmarket.com, this kind of steak probably takes around 30, how long would you say you need to cook this? It'll take about 12 minutes to cook, oh. but about five to seven minutes to rest. So oh. you want to rest your steak so it locks all the juices and then when you slice on it, 
it's going to be nice and juicy inside. Gotcha. So for folks like me who want to eat the steak right away off the grill, that's bad, huh? You cool, but it's not going to be juicy. Oh, <laughs> that's a pro tip. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. What's going on there, Deb? Well, it looks like Chef Jarobi just got his steaks on the grill. I was trying to get a candid shot because they're beautifully, beautifully seasoned. If we bring the camera over here, would you be able to open the grill just a, for a second for them to see it, or is it going to hurt the cook? Oh. For you. For me. I'll He's do doing it. it for me. All right, let's get the camera right here on his grill if possible so when he lifts it up you can get a great shot of what's going on look at those beautiful Ooh. steaks all seasoned and the veg all nicely lined up but we gotta let him close so he it looks like he wants it closed kit but yeah i couldn't help it they look so delicious i don't blame you <laughs> i don't blame you so what is one of your favorite things about being in the restaurant industry since we're all in the restaurant industry together um i guess just uh the part of being in service and making people feel good and have experiences when I'm with me, you know what I mean? I want you to have a good experience when you're with me. Absolutely, that's actually part of our mission. Our mission is to create a memorable experience so we are right on the same page. We just keep doing that. We just keep having the same mind melt all right day on. long. All day long. All day long. See that? Because right before, like, we have some popular drinks here, and Jerobi was, like, knowing everything in his mind of what to, what to order, and he had a cowboy up right before. So if you have never had a cowboy up, Come join us on Friday nights and grab our cowboy up. We have them on special every Friday night. I love right. that. Okay, so I wanted to remind everyone watching at home and also our, our chefs over here that you will be judged in four different categories. Taste, creativity, plating, and technique. So 25 points will be awarded in each category. You have 17 minutes left. I want to go up to our judges right now, turn that mic on. And what are you guys seeing right now from the technique of cooking? Let's start with you. Uh, delicious. Does uh, it look delicious? Yeah, I'm, I'm just like eyeing these vegetables on the grill over here. I'm just mm -hmm. like watching them get taken off. It looks like, oh, the corn, yes. And I'm loving the color of the meat over here is looking just perfect. Uh, what do you see? Some beautiful grill marks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eddie, what about you? Well, uh, yeah, I was nervous for uh, uh, Jerobi for a while because I'm like, he started late, but I mean, we got plenty of time. I think he knows he knows what he's doing. He's gonna, I feel like there's going to be something amazing that he's like going to come up with. So I'm excited about that. I, I see like how Chef Fernando's very, uh, very uh, methodical. He's like, he's like really like doesn't open up the grill as, as often. And here he's getting that nice here. It's looking really good. Okay, Eddie, thank you so much. Uh, you know, he's our veteran judge here a little bit with the trash talk. So Chef Jarobi, how do you feel about that? He's a little worried for you, a little nervous. He's worried for me? Yeah. Oh, really? That's what he said? Yeah, because you, you started a little late. Oh, I'm, don't worry about me. He's like, don't even worry, right? <laughs> You're looking good out there, Chef Jerobi. I think it's time for our first in-person giveaway. I'm excited for we that. We have a lot of fun people sitting here lining up the line here in Burbank. And so we're going to give it to our first in-person giveaway. You took a picture uh -huh. of yourself and did hashtag VA Steak. Do we have a name of the person who's here? Go right ahead, Miss Bailey. The winner is Devin. Devin. Oh, Devin! Yay! Sir, square cow cooler for you. Devin, how do you feel about winning this prize? Come over here. Come over here. How do you feel about this prize? It's a little grill kit. What? Do you feel good about winning a, a little mini grill? No. <laughs> okay, that's a yes in kid kid language. Thank you so much, Devin. He's like, can I play a video game with a little grill? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he'll be happy that he can go ahead and like cook something and eat it afterwards. So when he's eating, he'll be happy with the little grill. So don't forget, for if you're watching at home, we'd love to see your hashtags of be watching this, hashtag BA Steak. We have another in-person giveaway as well. Yeah. Please use that hashtag BA Steak and you could win a little mini grill. We can do the next at home with another trivia question. You yeah. have another trivia question? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Okay, so if you're watching at home, see if you can answer this one. What year did the first Black Angus restaurant open? Okay, what year did the first Black Angus restaurant open? And this I, is a good I one. I think I hear everybody going to Google, like right now. I like know, that's all right? I hear right now. It's like everybody. <laughs> like, wait, Wikipedia, quick, 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 quick. We are the oldest American steakhouse. I will give that, give that hint. We are the original American steakhouse being open. I'm not gonna say the amount of years. Did I say it? But we didn't just possibly have a big birthday bash 
in April, you know, celebrating a pretty high number. And on July 25th, we are going to be celebrating National Cowboy Day. Yeehaw! So, yeah, the hat that you're seeing Jackie wear right now, you're Thank actually you. going to be able to get in our stores if you would like. Um, if you come wearing your Western wear on National Cowboy Day, we are going to actually give you a $15 gift card to come back and see us again. Oh, wow. Okay, Deb, so here's a question I have. Does um, Do you get a $15 gift card for every hat you wear? Could I show up with, like, 10 cowboy hats? I don't know, maybe just for just you, one. Jackie, but I... <laughs> Limit one hat per person. Hat and boots. Hat and boots. Both count for Western wear on National Cowboy Day. Oh We're going to have some, some great specials. You might actually be able to drink from a cowboy boot mug. What? Just saying. Just saying. Oh, wow, Deb, that is really, really cool. Okay, I see the steaks. Ooh, smoking. I see the smoke. It's smoking. Oh, my gosh. All right. Okay. Do we have an answer? Did anybody guess the year when we were open? Let's yes. ask. Let's check we in with do. our social team. We have room for Chris, Chris Hagerman. On what? Facebook. What did he say? Chris Hagerman from Facebook said 1964, and that is correct. 1964. Woo! Woo! Okay, that is you what we said. We are 58 years old. 58? You don't and look a day over 19. <laughs> <laughs> like really good. And, and so as a follow-up question, if y'all want to put in the chat before we check in again with our, our guest is, yes. is you, which state did the, the, sorry, in which state was the first Black Angus open? We have a little bit of an airplane over us, so let's see if you heard that on the live stream. So you know what year it was open, but which state did the first Black Angus restaurant open? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh my goodness, let's see. While we wait for you guys at home to answer that, Chef Jerobi, I mean, actually I'm gonna talk to you first, Chef Fernando, your steaks got off the grill. Tell it me what, what's grill. happening Time. now in the process. Time. They're gonna be resting right now. It's about seven minutes, and then my plating is gonna be about three minutes. I know. So I'm gonna be right on time. Gotcha. So those the steaks that are about rare, rare, while they rest about seven minutes, they're gonna become medium rare. Okay, and if you you let them rest even longer, would they become well uh, done? They, they rest on the temple a little longer, oh, but not wow. that much. Okay, very cool. Thank you, Chef Fernando. How about you, Chef Jerobi? How you doing? We got 11 minutes left. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. We're gonna be go shoot. I'm doing good. I'm just wondering, can I kick it? Yes, you can. Okay, if you know a tribe called Quest, you get that. You're a real one. Hashtag BA steak. Okay. <laughs> All right, Miss Deb, let's see if we have a winner. Do we have a winner? Did somebody guess the first state in which we do? Who is our winner? Our winner. Our winner is Jerry Covington from Facebook. Jerry Covington, did he guess? He guessed Washington State. Washington State. So the original West, all right? Washington State, California. I don't know what they're doing down there in Texas. We don't do the Texas. We do California. We do Washington. We are the original West, and we live your West life. Can I get a yeah? Yeah! yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm going to check in with the judges, Deb, to see what they're thinking about this, and then I think after that it's time for another giveaway. Okay, chefs, you have 10 minutes left. All right, Eddie, let's start with you. What are we thinking? What are we thinking, Eddie? How do you think, of, what do you think of that plating? Looks great. I like that, uh, the elote, the esquites, I think that he's making looks looks incredible. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm You're ready. hungry? I'm really, I'm ready. Okay. And then what uh, Chef Jarobi's got going on is looking really good, too. I like the, the green onions. The sear on that looks perfect. Forgive me for even thinking, <laughs> you know. It's going to be awesome. He forgives you. He forgives you. You're heightening the drama for us. We love it. How about you? I mean, yeah, the, the smell is, is finally making its way over here. Amazing. Uh, I can't wait to eat it. It looks incredible, and it's so far away. Jackie, uh, you have to come see away. this drink. My goodness. Oh, they just let me put see. Up the, the Chef Fernando just went ahead and put up his drink. I think we need everybody at home to get a, a glimpse this? at this. This is a delicious combo of a drink. I love that. Is that tahini that we have on the rim? It is, yeah. Okay, describe to me how you made this because this paired with the elote is like a dream come true. That's what I was thinking. Um, we muddled a couple of jalapenos, uh, put some Casamigos Blanco, so, um, some Patron Cicinid, our house made lime mix. Yeah, shake it. Is there a secret to the house made lime mix? I need to know. Perfect. You cannot tell. Oh, you cannot <laughs> tell? Okay, just drink one of those and tell me later. <laughs> 
Thank you. Okay, Shas, you have eight minutes left. I think it's time, Deb, for another prize. I think huh? so. I think so. I think we need to do another in person giveaway. Yes. I believe, since we just did our at home giveaways. Mm -hmm. And so, what we have going on right now, we're going to give away one of our grill kits. This is inside here. You'll have a lovely spatula, knife. I would take it out, but I cut myself on every knife I see. So, <laughs> you know, we'll see. But we're going to see who here. Same, Deb. Same. <laughs> That's why they're doing the cooking and we're doing the talking. <laughs> Satisfaction. <laughs> so, do we have a? Do we have somebody here? Another person who's taken a picture of themselves and put it on the hashtag BA steak that we can bring up. That's right. Can hashtag BA steak. We do. Our winner is Susan Hackett. Susan, Susan come on up. Yay, Susan! Thank you for joining us. So here, I'll show you what we got. telling you, I'm going to cut myself, is it so? Are you a medic? Will you be able to help me? Can I cut myself? Okay. Oh, you can? Okay. We've got ourselves a spatula, some tongs, a knife, and a fork for, for cutting, because you can do anything on the grill. You can even do some nice, like, fine, whatever you want to do, and then it will nice and roast and get it to okay. spread, whatever, and you can have some happy cooking on us. Thank you so much. This is a lot of fun. Did you, have you come here often? I came last time, yes. You came last time, too? Oh, awesome. She's a repeat customer. Woo! All right, everybody get it up. Okay. I'm from Arizona, and there's lots of cowboys. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. We have stores in Arizona. There's definitely lots of cowboys there. Absolutely. Woo-hoo! All right, thank you. All right, Deb. Okay, so we have so many people here in the crowd in our Burbank location. We got one here, one guy here enjoying the beer. Tell me what's your name? Brian. Brian, what are you thinking so far of the chef's dishes? Um, they're, they're looking good. Um, I think Chef Fernando is unbeatable. I don't know. Okay, how much did he pay you to say that? Um, I'm not going to disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> chef Fernando, who is this guy? Is this your brother? No. Thank you, thank you so much. All I'm right, Deb. Have some crowd excitement. Who here is rooting for Chef Fernando? Let me hear you. <laughs> and who here is rooting for Chef Jarobi? Let me hear you. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think that maybe we need to have a dance off to see who's gonna win. Oh, okay, a dance off. I don't think we should make the chefs dance. Do we have any kids up here who wanted to do a little bit of a dance? Oh, yes, he does. Anybody want to come dance? Can we have oh, some music for a little dance? Can we drop on. a little bit of a beat? Come on, let's go here. Oh, right. Ready? All right, everybody. We have some dancing music, Billy. Come over here, yes. Dancing music. Ready? Well, you guys are awfully cute. Look at all of these folks here. <gasps> you guys yes. are going to dance too? <laughs> All right, we're going to get some dancing music. Are you ready? Swing your partner round and round. You love it. Here they come. <laughs> oh, it's not starting yet. Meanwhile, we can go. Well, we can still talk. We like can still dance. We can still <laughs> dance. <laughs> so the chefs right now are starting to plate up. This is very exciting. Chef Jarobi has his steaks on the plate, which we love to see. And also his drinks are being prepared. The judges are salivating right now. And we have a growing crowd here in Burbank, California. If you are here in LA, this would be a great time to come because when you watch out here, you get the live cooking and the great dancing. Bring your little kids here. Enjoy some cheesy bread. Hi. What's your name? My baby. Hey, are you dancing? Good cowbell.
the dancing out in the audience. Come on, we'll get everybody dancing. We gotta get some things. Okay, chefs, three minutes left. Three minutes left. Plating, Chef Droby is plating right now. How much more do you think you have left to do, chef? Steaks and sauce. Steaks and sauce, steaks and sauce, okay. Let's head over to Chef Fernando. Chef Fernando, oh wow, this is a very interesting presentation about elote. Can you walk me through it? All right, we've got the bone in ribeye. Cooked to perfection, nice and seared, right? Just basic seasoning. Okay. And then we got, I wanted to do something simple so that everybody can do it at home. So we got the uh, Mexican style free elote. And it's kind of do like a little skitty on the side with the cotija cheese and all the spices, you know, some little bit of lemon. And who everybody hates, but mayonnaise and the elote is the best. Okay, so. I love this Mexican street corn. This is so good. Zoom in on this. The presentation, I've never seen it like this so beautifully. So if you hate it on corn on the cob, you have that version. And then if you love it in your teeth, you can also do it this way. I love both. I love corn so much. Are there any extras? <laughs> Asking for a friend, that is me. We have a little less than three minutes left on the clock. Why don't we check in to see what's going on here with this drink? Can you tell us a little bit about Chef Ruby's drink? Yeah, it's an old fashioned with Jameson. Uh, it pairs nicely with what we made today. Sweet potatoes and orange and cherry. Ooh. Beautiful, I'm telling you, these cocktails are making me thirsty. I think we should have been the judges. <laughs> The competition is ramping up over here. The drinks are being made. She's got two drinks over there. No, All no right, yet. Deb. Let's talk a little bit about the meats that people can get at home, which are the meats that you see here. It's what they're cooking with right behind us, blackanguismarket.com. And it looks like nobody really picked up the seafood, but the seafood is quite popular that we find. We also have hot dogs and our steak seasoning. You can get the steak seasoning so you can make it at home. Um, we also, little known secret, Chef Fernando has some YouTube videos out there that will teach you step by step how to make the steak, even if you're getting them shipped to home, um, wherever you are, be it Nashville, Florida, New York, Chicago, wherever you are, you can have our steak sent directly to you. Um, but if you're local, they will be cut for you that day. So, you know, we have, a, we have um, all of our meats here except for the ribeyes because it seems like both Chef picked the ribeye and how they picked them they picked it and that's our number one seat i mean they number picked one. it last time too everybody likes the ribeye they do we have one minute left on the clock yep. chefs one minute left on the clocks and the best thing about ordering your meats from blackangusmarket.com is that when you do they like deb said they will be delivered right to your house you can also even pick them up if you live near a black angus restaurant yes so absolutely cool. yes and this summer, we actually have some grilling sides available, too. You can get a tray of mac and cheese. You can go ahead and get some of that beautiful grilled corn and some watermelon. And then we basically do the barbecue for you. You can buy a pack of meat. So Okay, we have 40 seconds left. Chef Jarobi's putting up those sauces on his steaks. Ooh, my goodness. Let's see how his steaks are looking right now. He's plating it up down to the wire. 30 seconds. Oh, my gosh. This is thrilling. Me and the car alarm in the back are going nuts. <laughs> Absolutely. These are the sounds of Los Angeles for all the folks watching around the country. You, if you don't hear cars like that honking in the background, you're not in L.A., right? <laughs> Absolutely. And the helicopter that don't flew do that overhead ever. earlier. So, actually, we're going to do a Ten countdown. Ten seconds! Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, two, one. All right, chef! <laughs> nice job, chef. Wonderful. We're going to go ahead, and who comes up first? I, let's see which chef is going to be planning first. I believe we do have our challenger coming up first, Chef Jarobi. We're going to have some wonderful servers here. Chef, the servers will bring your plates up for you. Don't worry. We have awesome servers here at Black Angus. And they will bring up to the judges there and also the pair of drinks as well. So just a reminder to the judges, to the chefs, and everyone watching at home, the dishes that you see on your screen will be judged in four different categories, which is taste, creativity, plating, and technique. 25 points in each category will be awarded to the chef, and whoever has the most points will win. This is very exciting. Look at the judges. Again, all of our judges, no food. 
They know how to photograph food. They do it as a living. They are amazing on Instagram. So of course they have to take pictures first. I mean, it's just, you have to do that. Right, Deb? Absolutely. You didn't need it unless you did an Instagram, grammed it first, right? All right, Chef, right next to this you wanna come on up? Heard. Go ahead and oh, you want me to go up here? Go ahead and go, you can go up to the other side of the table if you'd like, so you can describe your dish. Um, <coughs> this is my riff one, I like it off wild. I got some miso and um, sake. Got some uh, sweet potatoes grilled and a little broccolini to give it a little bitterness to, to cut everything up. You know what I'm saying? All right, judges, what are you thinking? What Thank are you, you smelling? What, what are you feeling? And ready to eat. So. Well, let's talk about presentation first. Just off the plate, off visually, especially as uh, folks in the Instagram food space, Instagrammable level on a one to ten. Oh yeah, um, I would give it a seven. Nice, seven. nice. All right, well, mm. let me talk to Chef Toby and see how he's feeling. While they're digging in, why don't you guys dig in a little bit and grab some taste, and then we'll check up with you in a minute. How you feel the cook went? Oh, it was good. I wish I had five more minutes. Though. You wanted five more minutes? Yeah, I wish I had five more minutes. Well, <laughs> what would you have done differently if you had those five minutes? Um, I would have had more time to tighten up my sauce like I wanted it to tighten up. Tighten up the sauce, but the, yeah. the elements are still there. Yeah, are you yeah, feeling yeah, good yeah. about the elements? Yeah, I feel good about the uh, the balance of things. Okay, well, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, what are you feeling with your first taste? They all have full mouths. I know. To talk. They totally do. Okay, Eddie, let's go first with you. First, first thoughts. One, the plating is, is phenomenal. I love, yeah, I love this. The the green. The, the sweet potatoes, the orange, it, it just, it popped. So I love that. Uh, when you brought it on, it just, the smell already had me. I was like, this, this smells good. I, I don't know if it was just everything with the miso, the, the, the steak, I mean, the seasoning. Um, and I got to really save my notes for writing it down. But it, it's, I mean, so far, man, it's, it's, it's incredible. He's loving that, loving that. Yeah, these, uh, the sauce is great. Uh, what did you say? It's a miso sauce? It's my take on a poivre instead of uh, whiskey. I use uh, sake and miso. That's nice. It's miso for the miso for the salt element and sake for that. Yeah, it's got a really nice, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> a great, uh, rich flavor to it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Enjoy and please take in the refreshing drinks. All right. Well, now you get to relax. Come over here. Have, relax a little bit yes. while they finish up. Yes, Chef, you can have one of your specialty drinks if you want. <laughs> yes. Cocktail. What's in the cocktail again? Can you describe to us what's in the cocktail? It's Jameson, uh, orange, cherry, bitters, and simple syrup. So it's an old-fashioned. It's an old-fashioned. And so, you know, Lisa, I was wondering, when you guys judge competitions like this, how much do you eat? Because you can't eat all that. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I'll eat <laughs> I'll eat it all. I'll eat it. You'll eat it sure. all? Oh, yeah. Okay. So good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we will be here for another hour. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you just saw Chef Tarobi just come by and take a big hawk and bite out of that ribeye. It's so good. It's it's so good. good. How do you approve of your own cooking right there? Tell, tell us, Chef. I just had a piece, and now I had the end of the fat on it. I love that fat. Oh, my God. It was so good. <laughs> so good. Again, Chef Tarobi has nine restaurants, so he knows a thing or two about cooking. So the judges... I cannot wait to see their scores. I see Ben there nodding vigorously. He's like, yes, yes, it is so delicious. I love that. Okay, I think this is gonna be a tough competition. They're liking the drinks, they're liking the food. I'm like, throw me a piece, right, Deb? All right, <laughs> absolutely, yes. Okay, so I don't, in a second we're gonna clear and bring up the next dish. So you guys, hopefully you've had enough of taste. You guys come on up, and let's go on to the next one. You can't eat the whole steak dinner the first time. Chef Fernando there, waiting patiently. The, 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 the title holder, the reigning champion, the winning belt that is visible only to him. But can you box that up for me? Because it's yeah. really, that, that was really good. Can you remember whose plate was who? All right, Chef Fernando. We are excited to get the plating going while they um, do their scores right now.
Que é de Twin Town. Mítico de Double Twin Town. Double Twin Town. They are taking pictures of food. They are liking this. All right, Chef Fernando, do you want to go up and describe your dish to the chef, to the judges? I love how the back of Ben's phone is a ketchup label. I almost was like, oh my God, he's not putting ketchup on the steak. He's like, please tell me he's not putting the ketchup on there the steak. There are some people who do that. They put the ketchup on the steak and they love it well done. <laughs> It's a beautiful presentation. I'm not Patrick so Mahomes. I don't need ketchup on my steak. Right, right. <laughs> so, Chef Fernando, please uh, tell our judges what you have prepared for them yes. today. All right. Well, um, I wanted to do a classic grilling. Just, you know, very simple, very easy to do, but at the same time, a lot of flavors involved in it, right? So, the steak is a bone in revive. It's a certified Angus steak. Uh, just black pepper, you know, kosher salt and some granite granulated. Simple. Finish it up nice and sear with butter, which is classic right and then i wanted to combine that bold flavor with something has a mexican style street corn uh you know we got all the, the cotija cheese in there the, the the spicy chipotle chili you know a little bit of tahini and why not uh and then finishing out with cilantro and lime uh, and then we also put together a margarita a jalapeno margarita which is a jalapeno model and we do the casa amigos blanco tequila with some uh, citron, uh, uh, patron citron in it. So, hope you like it. This looks like such a perfect dish to have for a barbecue, which you can do if you order those meats on blackangusmarket.com. And the corn. <laughs> but not that and street the corn. corn. Just the grilled corn. I mean, you have to go to Chef Fernando's house to get the street corn. And I've been to his house because that's where we filmed the videos. And my gosh, he can <laughs> cook a mean barbecue. I'm, not, I'm just saying. I wonder, what would it take Chef Fernando to get that elote on the actual menu? Piece of cake. Piece it'll of cake? It'll be there next month. If oh, you heard it here first. You heard <laughs> I'm telling you, that would sell out. I know, but who knows? I mean, maybe if Jirobi's seasoning's that good, we should put that on the menu, too. Who knows? That's true. Think? We might get Jirobi's uh, items here, that miso, that flavor on the menu. Let us know in the comments who you are rooting for and who you think is going to win this competition. I can just tell by the judges' reactions that this is a close one, Deb. Ooh, and we got some crowd cheering over here. <laughs> All hey, right, do we don't have Don't be any afraid to grab the corn and eat it just like that, right? They need some napkins. <laughs> yes. Let's see who uh, has the guts to, okay, yes, Nothing ben? like eating corn on the cob in front of a giant yeah. crowd of people, right? It's what everybody wants. So. I would yeah. love to see that, you know? We never see you guys on your Instagram, so please, let's get, there let's you go. get a close-up of this. That guy knows how to eat a lote right let's there. Let's make him a meme. <laughs> let's make it a meme. So good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. No, you have to bite into it. Ooh. Yes. LA foodies represent. That's Woo! right. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh my gosh. How is it? How is it? Especially in LA, there's so many options for a lote. What do you think? Right, yeah. I don't want to get corn cob all over the microphone, but uh, it is delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's great. I love the spicing on it, and I, it's not too creamy. I know you're talking about the mayonnaise, so doesn't have the mayonnaise thing going to Cotilla. Right. I think it's great. I love wow. it. Thank yeah. you. Eddie, how about you? Yeah, no, I love it. The escapes are, I mean, they're perfect. I want the recipe because it's, I mean, perfectly balanced. Got a little kick, a little spice. Um, the mayo is, is, it works. It's perfect. The lime, I mean, it's everything. And, and the plating is beautiful. It's beautiful. Stunning. It's like, like the way to present the escapes like that with the corn on the cob still and half of it off. Right like, yep. awesome. I love and, that. And on that note, too, the sear was like perfect. I mean, I feel like every time it's just automatic. So uh, yeah, so far it, look, it looks great. Love that. And Lisa, really quickly, I see you enjoying that steak. Tell Very me more, good. sister. Oh, it's nice and juicy. The resting helps. It was so perfect. Um, mm. I love the spice on the corn. It's perfect. Um, yeah, it's all very good. Great job. Great. Wow. Okay, chef. Showing reigning champion vibes. Let us see that belt again of yours. Right? <laughs> He's got the championship belt. Woo! All right, Deb, what's going on over there on your neck of the woods? I think we're going to do another giveaway while we let our chefs go ahead and tally up our scores. Um, we are going to give away another square cow cooler to somebody here in the audience. So if you haven't already, 
done a picture of yourself with hashtag VA steak. We can give you a minute to do that. Give the ch judges a chance to, to do their scores, and then we're going to tally them up. I wish that we knew somebody who could sing while oh, we were I waiting. Know. I wish we knew someone who could sing or maybe rap. I don't know. Maybe Chef Jerobi can uh, do a little performance for us. No, he doesn't no, he said no. Do, no. But you know what? He has graced us with his culinary skills. I know. I have to say, that is music in itself. Hey, he Fernando, do you want to do a rap? Do you want to do a rap? Uh, like a song? I don't know how to rap. <laughs> <laughs> I can dance. <laughs> do you dance? Do you want to dance? He said he does do not scoop, know how to rap. So if, you, um, so if you are using the hashtag BA Steak, we'd love to see what you guys are thinking right now as the judges tally up their scores. And who do you think is going to reign victorious here? And I'm, I think it's going to be really close, Dad. I really do. I really think yeah. it's going to be very, very close. Again, you can recreate this at home. Hopefully you were grilling on around, around with us. Uh, where, no matter where you are in the United States, you can buy one of our steaks. And um, so let's go ahead and see. Do we have anybody? Do we, we need some more entries. Come on. We need some more entries. This guy Picture, over here is just do it. Hashtag VA steak. There's got to be you somebody got, who can do it, it here. We got, we got to. We're going to be telling. We are here in Burbank, California, and while we wait, I d again wanted to show you folks at home, blackangusmarket.com, what you can order straight to deliver to your house is what you see here, which is And the ribeye there. <laughs> the ribeye there, the, the meat here, and I was talking to Chef Fernando about how he seasons his ribeyes, and he goes, oh, I just use salt and pepper, and this is like, uh, and I said, how much do you measure? And he goes, this is what he uses, which is like to make seasoning easy. It's actually already pre-measured for you. You can right? go ahead and grab it, and you can put it all over the meat. Hard, yep, hard to mess that one hard up, right? Hard to mess it up. Definitely hard to mess it up. So if we don't have anybody who's with people who are social media shy, all right, then I'm going to ask a question, all okay, right? right? I'm going to ask a question here. Who here can tell me the original founder of Black Angus Steakhouse? Raise Ooh. your hand. Okay, we got some people in the right crowd. Over there. Come on over here. You know it? Well, right back there, he's raising his oh, hand. This little, yeah, yeah come, he over here. come on up, come on up. Oh, this handsome guy knows who it is, huh? So who who is it? Um, check. Uh, no, 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 no. It is. <laughs> that's not the right answer. That's that's the current CEO. So I'm glad that you know that. Who is the original founder? Do you know the answer to that? Uh, I only know Mr. Tech. <laughs> That's awesome, though. That's awesome. All right, who else do we know? Who else do we know? Okay, he thinks he knows. He knows? Okay, come on over here. Come on up. Stuart Anderson. Who is it? Stuart Anderson. Stuart Anderson. Is that right? That's He's right. He's the original founder of Black Angus. So, we have another kid with a square cow cooler. I'm really glad that we're giving out the actual coolers and not yes. the alcoholic drinks since both of our winners would not have been able to receive. Exactly. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you enjoy that. All right. Yeah. Do we have the, the winners tallied up? Do we have a final score? Huh? Judges, do oh, you have your judges, scores? Judges, the cards. I'll grab them. Huh? We tally it. We'll tally it. Okay, we're going to tally up the scores, so I think we need to go and talk with some more people in the audience so we can do a quick tally, and then we'll have a winner. Why don't we get both of our contestants up front here to talk a little bit about how they feel the competition went. Yes. Didn't you guys both stand Jirobi. up here? Let's bring the ribeyes back. Yes. Chef Jerobi, would you come on over here with us? And Chef Fernando, would you come on over here for a second? So Chef Jerobi, before we announce the winner and we tally up the scores, Give me, a, give me a sense of how that last 30 minutes was for you in the crowd and get the space right. Where am I looking? Right here? Right here. Um, it was cool. Actually, the first time I've done it, that was a time constraint, so that was an uh, interesting wrinkle. But it was cool. It was fun. So you told me that in the restaurant business, you have, again, several restaurants that your I've favorite – you've opened several restaurants. So your favorite position is sautéing, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about the sauce you make? Like I said, I wish I had some more time to get it together more properly. Five more minutes, it would have been perfect, but it, it, was, it still tasted good. You know, it tasted good. Well, you did a great job, and you did have some tough competition yeah. here with veteran chef, Chef Fernando. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. I actually don't.
don't need it any more time. I think it was 30 minutes for do grilling. Uh, it's simple. It's supposed to be classic, fast, fun. So that's fine. I mean, I think I did great. Chef Fernando, yeah. the confidence is is really impressive. Doing it for 28 years. Oh, that's <laughs> right, that's right. Okay, Deb, how are we doing? We are still getting the. <laughs> that's and right. I open too. <laughs> <laughs> we open restaurants together someday. Oh, I love that the for fusion. Sure. Yeah. Wow, you saw it here first. We just saw melding of the minds, power and, uh, here. Just, just so I can say this, I'll be remiss if I didn't say this. Um, thank you guys for all your hospitality, the way you treated me and everything. It's really dope to be involved and come and do this here. You guys are really class up. I appreciate you. Of course. Appreciate We're you. so happy to have you here. You really, really gave some great competition here. The steaks were done so well. The judges loved it. It's like Jordan, though. Ooh, it's like fighting Jordan, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Very stiff competition. Do you want to hold our, Absolutely. our uh, prize here? Here's A little our grill. prize. This is the Emmy of steak. Yes. <laughs> I, I've won a few Emmys, you know, Deb, and this one feels more important. It does feel I more feel important. This one feels yeah. even more special. I better. love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So it looks as though we just had a 12-point difference between Ooh. the two. Okay. okay. That's pretty close, everybody, if you are good at math. So don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. Okay. Well, at 252 points, we have Chef Jerobi White. Woo! All right. Yes, Chef Jerobi. And then Chef Fernando Garcia got 264 points. So he wow. is the reigning champion. Reigning champion. Is that man? Okay, you. Chef. Great job, Chef. Let's hear your acceptance speech. Uh, it was great. It was nice cooking with a guy like this, you know, and uh, I love this audience. You know, I love Burbank and I love Black Angus. So oh. here you are. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Fernando. This is why all the steaks that you have at Black Angus restaurants are so good. I mean, this is the guy training all the chefs, right, Deb? Absolutely, every single one. And some of our chefs have been with us for over 30 years. They know what they're doing. Now, now, Chef Jerobi, I hear that there were some serious wagers going around that you were really going to be the winner. How do you feel with, with Chef Fernando being the one to take the crown? Um, I think that for my first time, I made an excellent showing. Yeah. I'm up against somebody who's as deep as he into what he's doing, so I feel really good about my performance today. I think so, too. Yes, you did great. Let's give it up for Chef Jerobi. He did wonderfully, especially visiting and everything. That's a lot. It's a stiff competition. We thank you so much. And we thank you for joining us for our live stream. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. There's so many prizes to win on YouTube. Yeah, and also you can go ahead and see all of Chef Fernando teach you how to cook a steak on our YouTube series. And so please come look at us at Black Angus Steakhouse on the YouTube channel and um, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. That's right. And, you know, pitch some chefs in the DMs. Maybe they could be here next. You never you know. You never know. If you are an aspiring chef, let us know. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye.